Security First Corp. Safety through knowledge. Sentinel-1 protection disabled. How to enable? Understanding how to enable Sentinel-1 protection is crucial for maintaining your system's security. Sentinel-1 is an advanced endpoint protection platform that uses artificial intelligence to detect and respond to threats in real time. When protection is disabled, your device becomes vulnerable to malware and cyber attacks. First, check the Sentinel-1 console. This is where you can manage your endpoint settings. If protection is disabled, it may indicate that the agent is not running or has encountered an issue. Ensure that the Sentinel-1 agent is installed correctly on your device. Next, navigate to the settings within the Sentinel-1 application. Look for the Protection tab. Here, you will find options to enable or disable various protection features. If the protection is turned off, simply toggle the switch to enable it. If you encounter issues enabling the protection, consider restarting your device. A simple reboot can often resolve temporary glitches affecting the Sentinel-1 agent. In some cases, administrative rights may be required to enable protection. Ensure you are logged in as an administrator or consult your IT department for assistance. Regularly updating the Sentinel-1 agent is also essential. Updates can enhance functionality and security features. Check for updates within the application to ensure you are using the latest version. Lastly, if you continue to experience difficulties, consult the Sentinel-1 support documentation or reach out to their support team. They can provide specific guidance tailored to your situation. Keeping your Sentinel-1 protection enabled is vital for safeguarding your system against evolving threats. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.